Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So today we will finish off um, what we can do, well, what I did recall at least, of the um, Lake Kingdom, and then head off to the Cloud Kingdom. So where we are going to go now is to this area with the hidden zip. Oh yes, because there's a hidden hat door behind here. And this area makes use of the zippers quite a bit here. So all you need to do like before is get Cappy to uh, go near the zip and it will reveal a platform. That's basically how it works. So let's see. We have some mini goobers ahead and nothing too hard to swing Cappy at them. And then, beyond here, we have uh, some more of these. So yeah, there is a hidden one. However, I did try to get it. It is very hard to find. Well, not hard to find, um, because there are some platforms off to the right there. You can see there. However, from where I stand, I probably would not be able to reach them. So, yeah. So, n now what I want to do is go this way. Knock these guys out and... Oh, boy. Yeah. If there's anything I don't like about the Mini Goombas, it is the sheer multitude of them. Um, and throwing Cappy at them does actually leave you vulnerable for a few seconds. Something they took advantage of, I'm afraid. Uh, in this area, we can find some hidden coins. Um, what was at the other end? Nothing, I don't think. So instead, let's um, go to the other side. And over here, we have, well, some more platforms. A nice uh, triple jump will help here. So what do we do here? Where's the zipper? Because we need to do something with these boomers. Also, there is a key here, so yeah. So if we throw a cabby on the thing and pretty much unzip, then what will happen? All the goombas will fall to their death. Oh yes, we are going there. We just annihilated a bunch of miniature goombas. Yes, seriously. So, where the hell is the power moon we have just got? Because we did not see anything that looked like a key platform. Well, actually, the key platform is just there. The, to the right, oh, or to the left, if you're going from the beginning. Uh, but it's to the right when, when we are, so... Unzip the chasm! I actually like the title of that moon. So, to get the other moon, what we would have to do is indeed make our way over to those platforms. Which is not going to be easy at all. No, and I did try and attempt this, but... Well, I didn't do it. So, yeah. Okay, then, we're back. So, um... Since I did not get anything else here, I'm going to move on, as I said at the beginning of this episode, to, um... Cloud Kingdom. And one might think, why am I going to an area where I fought Bowser? Well, there are actually some extra power moons we can get there. Same with the Ruin Kingdom, actually. Seriously. There are actually power moons here. And to top it all off, there is also a um, moon rock here as well. So that will unlock a few more. Only a small number. I think about two or... About four or five of them. Maybe not two or three, but... Yeah, only a small area because, of course, the Cloud Kingdom... A very small area indeed. So, uh, as for the moon rock itself, it is located. Um, if I could press the A button, out in the distance, way out in the distance, in fact. So yeah, and the cloud kingdom is very interesting because it, it, it wouldn't, you wouldn't think a boss arena would be a place uh, to give you a thing, but. Um, yeah, it is. So, uh, firstly, I want to use the, um, Cappy on these, um, hat cloud thingies. I don't know what they're called, really. So, yeah. And uh, you can see there, in the middle of the area, is a pipe. That will actually, um, take us to, um, an area with a 2D area. So, yeah. Also here, a Peach and Tiara, and they will, just like before, give you a power moon. 
Yes. They will also give you hints as to where they're going next, as they have before. Beautiful flower fields. Does that mean you're going to the Wooden Kingdom? Well, yes, that does actually mean that. So, with that done, let, now let's have a little explore here. We could go down the pipe. Um, also, uh, I believe in the distance over there is the Moon Rock. So I think I'm going to tackle that first. So, indeed like before, Flynn Cappy. And, um, indeed like before, um... Round pound the moon rock, and we will be able to see what that unlocks then. Well, let's see how many there is about two, three, six power moons. So, we can see one in the distance. So, let's see. Can we go down here and we can find some more hat cloud thingies? I don't know what to call them, so that's what I'm going to call them. So, jump. And it's just a matter of platforming. Just remember that the um, hat clouds only last a short period of time. And you may have to tilt the um, thing to get it. And if you get the key, that means um, you have to go all the way back. Yes, I don't know what happens if you die, because we already have uh, the key here. I'm guessing it means you start from the beginning. That is how it is with many other Mario games. So, why would I not say it isn't the same with this one? But anyway, we can get this easy power moon. So, crossing the cloud sea. Yeah. This is also one of those levels that does not have much... It doesn't have any music at all, seriously. Yep, it does not. So, let's see. Shall we go down that pipe in the middle of the area? That has been taunting me for a while. So, let's see where this leads. It leads us to another... Oh, boy. Picture match. Yes. But this time, we have to do a Goomba. Yes, a frigging Goomba. So, yeah. That's what those extra parts were for back in the Mushroom Kingdom. So, we know how it works. So, uh, remember this picture of the Goomba for, for well now, because, um, yeah, well, the mouth is kind of obvious. The eyes, um, well, yeah, we get the mouth at least. So there, and I don't know why I let go of that, seriously. So let's rotate it. Um, don't know. That makes the Goomba look like a vampire. I know for a fact Goombas do not like look like vampires. Their teeth stick upwards, not downwards. So uh, that should do it right. I don't know. I messed up royally. Um, if you do mess up, you can just speak to the Goomba and he will stop. So, let's, um, um, try this again. Again, like before, there are two power moons, and, uh, one has the Goomba fade away, so, um, this is the easier of the two. So, firstly, um, let's get them out, because that's the easiest thing for me to remember. And you want to remember that the teeth stick upwards, so no vampire. The Goombas are not vampires. So there we go. The Goombas also don't have noses. That's another thing to remember. No do they have mustaches. And uh, the other thing to also remember is that they don't have colored eyes and they have longer eyebrows. So that's a definite plus there. So yeah, it's just knowing where to place their um, everything else, really. So yeah. Oops. This is actually harder than the Mario one, seriously. So let's see, I placed that one. So let's get the other eye. And let's get it right, shall we? Will that do? I think so. Yep, and uh, that one. Go. 
go this way. Most definitely. Um, is that a good place to put it? I don't know. That's probably the only one I can think of, so... There we go. Then, let's um, move this over here. And indeed, uh, now that might be a bit wrong, but never mind, let's speak to the toad and see how well we did. And not bad. So what's the passing score? I think it's about 70 points, so I'm just five over, so basically a Goomba. Not a very good Goomba, it looks a bit depressed really, seriously. Well, given the amount of shit they go through working for Bowser, I understand. Anyway, that being said, now I am going to get another moon that also requires the usage of the uh, platforms. So let's see, I think that is where the um, uh, key one is, but let's see if I'm right or wrong. And, um, yep, yeah, it is. So, only one thing to do, and that's to probably jump off the edge of myself and start again. Yeah, the only thing you lose in, a, in, um, in, this, in Mario Odyssey for killing yourself is a thing. There's also a moon pipe there. I might tackle that a little later, because that one leads to a 2D area. A very tough 2D area, actually. Uh, so, yeah. So, instead, I'm going to go this way across these smaller platforms. And you will see here that there is a um, this platform, which can be ground-pounded. And then what we have to do is reach these um, platforms. Um, hopefully I can get around this without dying too much, because that would be annoying. Seriously, it would. And then jump over there. That one's a bit tough. I don't know why I went for the thing there, but there you go. Yeah, that is very annoying indeed. Seriously. Let's jump and ground pound and up we go! And then, let's go this way. And indeed, first to the right. Yep. It's really the platforming that um, really gets me on this bit, seriously. And then, uh, head to the left. Yeah, because, not because of the ones that are joined together, but just the ones that are further away, because um, given that the cloud platforms are on a timer, that is not always great, seriously. At the very end of that area is where the moon is, so yeah. So uh, let's see, round pound, etc., etc. You get the gist here. Seriously, I'm not a fan of of this one. I um, mean, it's interesting how they did it, but still very annoying. Don't face the wrong way, man. Don't face the wrong way. You don't want that. Seriously, you don't. So let's go this way and. Miss it completely. No, no, no. Pulling up is not a good idea, actually, because it does waste your time. Don't try and do that too often. And would you know it, at the very end is where the moon is. Seriously. I was just mere steps away from it, and I had to uh, make an arse of it again. So, ground pound. And let's go this way. Then head right, jump, and you get the idea. Yeah, it's the platform in between them that really annoys me. Boom. Then, go turn right. Oh. Then head the other way, and jump. And then, there it is! Yeah, you may need to use a cappy throw to get a bit of height, but there you go.